Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. As we watch the world moving towards digitization in 2020, Iraq is also getting involved in more fintech ventures and laying the groundwork to move forward with blockchain technology and digital assets. In moving forward, they need to pass laws for regulation as we are also doing here in the USA at the current moment. Everyone is gearing up for the shift to digital monetization and asset tokenization on the blockchain. Part of the narrative will be based around global warming and a cleaner digital cash system, hence using less paper fee cash preventing transmission of the pandemic further which has already begun as you have seen in past articles. Again, as I have stated in the past, we are moving into a more digital world, whether you like it or not, they do not care about your feelings. Digital currencies used to be very untraceable, until recently when they initiated the KYC, no, your customer, regulation which makes every transaction very transparent and traceable. Before they are done, you won't be able to buy a pack of gum without it being logged on a digital ledger somewhere. This is where we are heading like it or not. With that off my chest, let's get started. First article of interest for today. During his next legislative term, Parliament intends to pass the election and cybercrime laws. The Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee confirmed, on Saturday, that the House of Representatives intends to vote on a package of important laws, most notably the electronic crime law during the next legislative term. Member of the committee, Saran Alagi B, said, the electronic or information crime law is one of the important laws that the committee has concluded and which will work hard to pass it in the coming period, noting that the law held three workshops on it during the previous chapters, and many stakeholders in human rights, professors and others were hosted. He added, the increase in cases of electronic blackmail during the ban period came due to people sitting in their homes, which made them in front of the websites for longer periods of time and this was exploited by the weak of souls. In turn, member of the legal committee, C. Abka Adder, stated that the committee will hold its meetings at the beginning of the next legislative term and discuss among the priorities of its work the completion of the paragraphs related to the details of the electoral law, including divisions of districts and areas of the Ministry of Planning, in addition to logistical and commission issues. He added that the law of the House of Representatives was completed in all respects, and only a single paragraph is left, the schedule of the appendix, which is concerned with multiple constituencies, noting that, the beginning of the next legislative term, the committee will discuss the remaining paragraphs of the law. The seats in each governorate and how they are distributed among the multiple constituencies, noting that, preparing for the elections needs financial specializations and Iraq is going through a suffocating economic crisis. Next article of interest. Waste millions of dollars. Crazy, trade is officially established in Iraq. The economy is based on the language of peer numbers that cannot be interpreted, as 1 plus 1 equals 2, and money is always spent only on matters of value and feasibility but paying it on trivial goods is an act that is not conceived by a sound mind. It is no longer hidden from the existence of millions of dollars in transfers for importing useless agricultural goods and crops and transfers for imaginary traders. All of this is in the currency auction, which has become a bad reputation that drains the hard currency from Iraq in legal and circumvent methods, according to specialists who described what is going on as act as a crazy trade, and economist Mohammed Tome said in an interview with Al Sumeria News, that most of the imports that tend to Iraq are luxury or secondary, whether it is goods or even agricultural crops, and therefore this means the depletion of Iraq's fortunes through the auction portal that the bank conducts daily. He continues, it is not reasonable to import agricultural crops in millions of dollars, while Iraqi oil imports for the month of April do not exceed 1 billion and a half billion, calling on the Integrity and Judicial Commission to conduct an immediate investigation and announce the extent of corruption that is done through the auction. Tome notes that all countries of the world follow the policy of floating currency except in Iraq because the currency auction is one of the chapters of corruption that feed the pockets of spoilers, 
stressing that floating the Iraqi dinar will protect Iraq's reserves from hard currency from loss and waste. As for The Economist, Mohammed Hamid said in an interview with Al Sumeria News, the currency auction is one of the most corrupt files in Iraq because of the waste of money from the hard currency obtained by selling it for oil in exchange for fake projects and imports that do not exist at all at the time the Iraqi economy suffers a paralysis because of the low price of a barrel of crude oil, the resort to borrowing from international banks and the depletion of the war against ISIS, which has not ended yet. Hamid notes that, the profits that banks obtained from the currency auction make these banks, some of which were established without scrutiny, without a direction for the market and bear the risks and loans within the framework of providing the service to the citizen. It is strange and shameful that Iraq exports the most valuable wealth in the world, which is oil, and then the hard currency that Iraq got through is sold through the currency auction by importing goods of no value instead of developing economic activities, the citizen of the gesture said in an interview with Al Sumeria News. He adds. All the oil-producing countries left the rentier economy except in Iraq as a result of some people intent on keeping Iraq within the circle of import and maximum benefit from the oil wealth that is wasted daily through auction. The citizen Sodham said in an interview with Al Sumeria News that Iraq does not need imports of this size that we see in the markets, adding that it is not reasonable to import agricultural crops in Iraq as two rivers which this blessing is not available in all countries of the world. Hams explains that the currency auction is only a type of corruption legislated by law in order to protect spoilers, calling for supervisory authorities and the Integrity Commission to take their role in revealing the corruption in public money. The Central Bank of Iraq sells the dollar to private banks and money transfer companies through the auction that it conducts daily at an amount of $150 million which increases these numbers or decreases according to demand by these banks, which affects in one way or another the reserves of the Central Bank of Iraq, which was affected significantly in recent times as a result of the lack of symmetry between what he gets from the dollar and the auction sale process. It is noteworthy that the frequency of accusations escalated regarding the currency smuggling operations that cast a shadow over the selling prices of the dollar in local markets and led to an increase in its exchange rate a few months ago, while deputies called for the government to stop selling the currency at auctions of the central bank, others confirmed that Iraq was losing significant money from being smuggled daily out of the border. Next article of interest. Political expert. The government is required to be honest with the people over the financial crisis and to fulfill the demands of the demonstrators. Political expert Ali Al-Ubaidi called on the government to be open to the people about the financial crisis in the country and also to fulfill the demands of the demonstrators. There are two important things for the government to win the trust of the people and deal with health problems asterisk with the coronavirus, finance and salaries, Al-Ubaidi told al Akbaria. He added, this matter is done in cooperation between the people and the Prime Minister, and it gives a period of three months for goodwill and begins to find a way to deliver the ration with ten items for those in need to succeed the crisis plan. He explained that, the solution to the financial crisis begins with the frankness of the people with the financial difficulties and measures that will be taken during the first months and begins with the reduction of salaries and allocations of higher degrees and presidencies and the abolition of unfair decisions to waste public money and commitment to one salary. He continued, the government is also required to respond to the demands of the demonstrators and to sign the election law and others. Next article of interest. Notification from the Central Bank of Transfers to Lebanese Banks The Central Bank of Iraq has issued a notice of transfers in U.S. dollars to Lebanese banks. The bank said in a disclaimer, issued late Friday night, these days, inaccurate news, data and figures are being circulated about the trading of credits taking place in favor of Lebanese banks, through the foreign currency sale window. The Central Bank of Iraq would like to confirm that all the amounts transferred are in response to requests for imports for Iraqi companies, previously chosen the bank that opens the credit for the purpose of importing, knowing that the bank does not charge due to this process other than commission only. On the other hand, 
The central bank stressed that these sums are not transferred to Lebanon, but rather to the country of origin of the goods, and through the American Federal Bank, considering that the transfer is in U.S. dollars, which means that there is no payment in dollars in cash. Next article of interest. China begins experimenting with its new digital currency. China will begin testing its new digital currency in four major cities starting next week, according to local media. In recent months, the Chinese central bank has stepped up its development of the renminbi electronic currency, which is set to be the world's first digital currency managed by a large economy. According to the British newspaper, The Guardian, the regions that will begin to test the digital currency are Shenzhen, Suzhou and Chengdu, as well as a new area south of Beijing and Qingen, and those areas will host some of the events of the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. The China Daily, a government media agency, said the currency had been formally adopted in monetary systems in those cities, with some government and public officials receiving their salaries in digital currency as of May. The Sina News said the currency would be used to support transportation in Suzhou, but in Chungan the experiment mainly focused on food and retail. According to some reports, International companies such as McDonald's and Starbucks agreed to be part of the experiment, but Starbucks denied this, according to The Guardian. On April 17, the National Currency Research Institute of the People's Bank of China, which is responsible for developing the system, said that research and development on the digital renminbi is advancing steadily, and that the design is of a high standard. The progress in the digital currency was reportedly driven by Facebook's announcement in June of its intention to launch a single currency. The China Daily Report said that the sovereign digital currency provides a functional alternative to the dollar settlement system and reduces the impact of any sanctions or threats of exclusion, whether at the state or company level. Like, subscribe and share to help support the channel. Check out the Denarian blog. Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.